Hello, this is Galen with Alder Media Productions. Today I'm going to show you the full usage of the Bluetooth Plus app with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and the Sigma 18 to 35 Art Lens. We open up the Bluetooth app. There's an option at the top to select between single and multi-cam. I only have one camera, so I go single. Once you have your Bluetooth connected, all you have to do is click on your name or your camera's name, make sure it's highlighted, then click connect. Here it brings you into the main page. You see I am recording at the bottom, so the timer is running. So from this first page right here, we can adjust the white balance of the camera. Notice that it is updating on the camera. We can adjust the tint. And then we can go through some presets for the white balance, sunlight, cloud, etc. You can also set up presets, which I have not done. Additionally, you can take a still picture using this button here, as long as you're not recording. It doesn't work when you're recording. So on the left side here, we have shortcuts to different settings in different pages. These are a shortcut to get from one page to the next. Additionally, you can just use the menu at the bottom. Our next is our frame rate adjustment. Since I am recording, it probably won't let me adjust anything. Oh, it actually did. So we can adjust the iris. This is on the fly. Stop it all the way down, open it back up. We can adjust the shutter angle. And we can adjust the ISO. There's also options to adjust the auto exposure. Which I don't use because this is a cinema camera, so we should be setting our own exposure. In the next tab, we have our focus and zoom slider. Now, at least with this particular lens, the focus works. It's a little bit wonky because there's no AB and there's no presets at all. So this is kind of a matter of eyeballing it. And of course you can set your focus peaking, which should help a little bit. This isn't really something you would use during production, but it works well for setting up your camera if it is out of reach. We can also do autofocus using this button here. And then if we turn to this distant focus chart, we have autofocus. We have autofocus again. So moving on to the next tab, we have options to turn on our false color, adjust our zebras. We can set up frame guides, which are not currently turned on. And we can set up grids. We can put on our horizon. We can put on our crosshairs. Or we can put on a dot, which you just barely see it. Additionally, we can turn on our focus assist, low, medium, or high. This is good for back here on the focus page. Still really hard to dial in. Yeah, there it goes. Let's autofocus it. That's a little better. Turn that up. We can adjust our audio input. Turn that volume all the way up. Turn that volume all the way down. 
We can turn phantom power on and off. I don't have an XLR mic connected. We can also select our microphone inputs. I am using the internal mic on the camera as a reference, um, but we can also switch over to XLR, but those aren't plugged in right now. And we can also finally adjust our headphone level. Next tab, we have our options to choose our shooting format and size. And it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop button so I can change formats. We switch over to B-RAW. We can choose our quality. We can choose our size. Now down in the bottom right corner, we have an option to adjust our slate and mark good clips. We can set up scenes and takes, day or night, interior, exterior, wide shot, extreme close up, what have you. We, there's no input option for entering the film name or the director name. Uh, there is still some, some things on the menu of the camera itself that you would still need to use. And then, last but not least, we'll stop recording and then hit the, the play button. And here we have the option to play back what we just recorded. This is really useful if your camera is out of reach and you have it connected to a monitor, either wirelessly or through HDMI, so you can quickly review your footage. And finally, in the settings, we do have a couple options. You can lock controls. Um, there is a slate only mode, which is kind of neat. So if you have an if you have an AC and you don't want them to be pulling your focus uh, while you're trying to shoot, um, that might be a good option for you. So you can turn that off and turn that back on. I have a secret code so that my AC doesn't know it. Um, you can, prevent, of course, prevent sleep, prevent the app from going to sleep, and you can lock controls so you don't accidentally bump something during an important shot. You can press the X button to close out this, the quick menu. And again, you can also focus right from here. Pretty nifty. So that is the full usage of the Blackmagic Plus iPhone app using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and a Sigma 18-35 art lens. Thank you for watching.